<clears throat> I forbid you from using that if you Graciously. are recording. <laughs> forbid. Okay. okay. I have it on camera. Right now, I'm in a position that most couples in America and around the world really are in, where I have a boyfriend who is definitely the breadwinner and financially supports us. And if that were to change, which it will, um, I can understand how different issues might arise. I mean, you hope to have a partner that is supportive and wants to see you reach those goals and ambitions, but I think that shift of caretaker is really difficult for men, and it's understandable because it's ingrained into you from a very young age, even as a young woman, you're the caretaker. It's your job to make sure everybody else is okay. And for men, it's like, you know, don't be a wimp. You know, you're supposed to be a man, a manly man, and like take care of your family. So having someone be like, don't worry, I'm gonna take care of you, was such a gift, but also really fucking scary because I wasn't used to that. And so suddenly I had this problem of like, what do I bring to the table? How can I provide value to him the way he is to me? Um, and for a while it really bothered me and I was like, God, if I could only be making more money, if I could only be doing this, then, you know, we would be equal and, and I would feel less anxious about this. So now I find myself doing all the things my mom did that I thought were pathetic and so lame and like, ugh. It's just because you have a career doesn't mean those obligations shut off. So then it's like, I'm thinking about when I become a mom, I know that I want to try to continue my career. So how the hell am I gonna do both things? <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting because even when I hear about men taking that position, it is kind of a stigma thing. You think to yourself, huh, okay, that's different because you're just not used to seeing it. For example, our next door neighbor, his wife goes to work and he stays at home with the kids every day. But I think as it becomes more and more common, we'll see that if someone can be the breadwinner, it, it doesn't matter if it's the man or the woman. If someone's gonna bring home a bigger paycheck and ultimately take care of your family in, in a better way, then it just makes more sense for everybody. To be honest, no. I don't think I've ever even thought about equality in the home. I don't think I've ever discussed it with my friends and I'm definitely somebody who open Lee discusses equality and feminism and things of the like, but no, I've never even thought of like, oh, <laughs> we need equality in the home too. It's never even crossed my mind. And it's something that is so relevant because all the time I hear my friends go, well, I can't really do anything about it though, you know, because he pays the rent. So, you know, my opinion doesn't matter as much. It starts with women supporting women and understanding that both positions are equal and we shouldn't be judging people for wanting to stay home and we shouldn't be judging moms for wanting to work either. With equality and feminism, I think there's been this idea where it's us against them. And I think the only way we ever truly reach equality is together and we need to bring men into the conversation. I think the important thing to understand for everyone is that the rise of women does not mean the fall of men. There's going to be a moment where men are gonna to have to come to terms with the fact that we will be sitting at the same tables as them.